Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 36th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to create and connect to a NoSQL database in our application. Alright then, so in the previous tutorial I said that we're going to use a package called Mongoose to help us connect to the database and interact with it. So let's go ahead and install that now in this application. So all we need to say is npm install mongoose and then I'm going to pass through the save flag so that it tracks it in my package.json file. Okay, so once that's all installed, we can go ahead and require that module at the top of our to-do controller because this is where I'm going to be using it in this tutorial. So we'll go ahead and say var mongoose is equal to require and then the module name which is just mongoose and now we can use mongoose in this file. So before we do that, I want to go ahead and create a database for us to interact with on MLab. All right then, so I'm back on MLab.com and I've logged in. Now, I showed you this in the last tutorial and I've already created this node to do test database, but I'm going to walk you through creating a new database for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and create new. And this is going to throw up a couple of options. Hopefully your internet is faster than mine. And first of all, it's going to ask us for a cloud provider. I'm going to leave this with Amazon and the region. I'm going to keep the same as well. I'm going to click single node right here because this is going to give us the free sandbox option. You can see right there it's free and we get up to 0.5 gigabytes of storage. So this is really cool for when you're first learning MongoDB. So I'm going to scroll right to the bottom, leave everything else the same. And I'm going to give the database a name of to do. And then I'm going to create that MongoDB database. So this is just going to spin it up for you and then relocate to that page. All right, so now we have our to-do database. So if I click on that, it's gonna show what's in the database and currently there is absolutely nothing in it. Now, we also need to add a user so that we can fill in these fields right here, DB user and DB password when we connect to this database. So let's click on that tab. So I'm just gonna create a database user. The username is gonna be test. Uh, the password is also test, it's confirmed there for me, so I'll just write it again and create that user. So now we can use that user when we connect to this database. Now, to connect to the database, we're going to need this thing right here, this URL. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard because we're going to paste it in our code in a minute. All right, so I'm back in the code and now I want to connect to that database that we created. So how do we do that? Well, it's dead simple. First of all, I'm going to write a little comment just so we keep everything nice and tidy. And I'm going to say connect to the database. And then what I'm going to say is mongoose.connect. And then in those parentheses, I'm going to paste this thing right here. But I'm going to put it in quotation marks as well. Okay. So now it's going to go out and connect to this database. And it's asking us for the database user, which is test. And the database password, which is also test so you just want to pop your username and password and your database url in there and we have connected to it that is how simple it is okay so what if we want to start storing some data in this database what do we need to do well we need to take a couple of different steps the first thing we need to do is create a schema for some of our data and this is just like a blueprint how our data or objects are going to look so that mongodb knows what to expect from us okay so let's put a little comment here and say create a schema and we'll just remind ourselves that this is like a blue print, okay? Like a blueprint for our data. So how do we create a schema? Well, I'm just going to create a variable. I'm going to call this a to-do schema because this is going to be a schema for our to-do items. And I'm going to set that equal to a new mongoose.schema like so. And this is going to take an object as a parameter. And in this object, we're going to kind of declare what our to-do items are going to look like. So all the to-do items are just going to have one property. And that property name is going to be item. And that item is going to be equal to a string. Okay. So that is our schema for this to-do item. Okay. It's like a blueprint for what Mongoose or what MongoDB is going to expect from our to-do data, an object with just one property, which is an item, and that is a string, okay? So that's our to-do schema. 
And now what we need to do is create a model. So a to-do model, and then we can base that model on a schema. And this might seem a little bit complex when you're first doing it, but I promise you, the more you do this, it gets really easy. So let's create a variable. I'm gonna give this a capital because it's a model, and I'm gonna call that to-do. And I'm gonna set it equal to mongoose.model, and the model name is gonna be to-do, okay? So this is just a variable here on Node.js. This is the model name, which is gonna be stored as a collection on MongoDB. Make sense? So that's the name of it. And we need to also say what schema we're basing this model on. And it is this schema right here. So let's paste that in there, okay? So now we have created a model type of to-do, which is based on this schema. So now we can create new to-do items and then push them to the database. So let's create a test one. Let's just go ahead and say var item one is equal to a to-do. We don't need to say new to-do or anything like that. We just say to-do, okay? And then we pass through the object that we want to provide, which is based on this schema right here. So you see this schema just has item as one property, which is a string. So all we need to do is pass in an object with item as a property and a string. So we'll say item and we'll just say this is in get flowers, okay? Or buy flowers. Cool. So now we have created an item, okay, of type to do. And if we want, we can save this now to the database. So when we do this, when we say to do and pass in an object, which it expects, it then returns an object to us with a save method on it. So we can say dot save, okay? And then this save method takes a function as a parameter and inside that function, we can pass through an error if there is one. So basically, when this has been saved, it fires this callback function. And in this function, we can say, if there's an error, then we'll just throw the error, okay? For now, we're not gonna do much error handling here. If there's an error, throw an error. Right, otherwise, what we're gonna say is console.log item saved, like so. Okay, cool, so now, what's gonna happen when we start this file, when we run the application? Well, first of all, it's gonna to connect to the database. Then, it's gonna create a schema, like this, so that it knows what kind of information it's gonna expect, okay? Then, we're creating this model, and we're saying mongoose.model to create that model name and basing it on this schema so that MongoDB, like I say, knows what to expect. Then we're creating an item of this model type. We're passing in this object and we're saving it to the database. And then we get a function as a callback, which takes an error parameter if there is one. And then we're gonna console.log item saved when this item has been saved. Okay, so let's save this now. And first of all, I wanna go down here and say nodemon app, and press enter. So this is gonna run the application first of all. And you see that once it's run, we get this message straight away, item saved. So we didn't need to do anything, it ran this code for us. We've created a dummy item and stored it in our database. So let's go and check out that database on MLab. All right, so here we go. I'm on MLab again, and I'm gonna click collections and I'm gonna refresh this page just so it can update and hopefully show us that to-do collection. Okay, cool, now we can see to-dos and it's got one document inside. So if I click on that, it's gonna show me that document and hopefully it's gonna say, yep, yeah, buy flowers, cool. So what have we done in this tutorial? Well, we've successfully created a database on MLab and we've installed Mongoose on our application so we can use it. We've used Mongoose to connect to that database we created using this URL that MLab provided us with, with the username and password. Then we created a schema, which is like a blueprint for the objects that MongoDB is gonna expect. Then we created a new model, and we passed that model a schema. Then we created a new item of type this model, and we passed that object through, and then we saved that to the database. And then we got a function as a callback which took an error if there was one, and then logged this to the console once the item has been saved. 
Okay, pretty cool. So that's us connected to the database. In the next tutorial, what we're gonna do is change up these handlers right here, get, post, and delete, so that they interact with the database rather than this dummy data right here. So any questions so far, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.